They say he came into this world from some place off the clock. That his mother was an ice cold wind, his pa a fiery rock. It's told that on some starless nights his rig could up and glow. And folks who say they saw it coming swear they didn't see it go. Now you hear a lot of legends told when you ride the long, hard slab of some who say the man is good and some who say he's bad. But all agree who've ever tried to play a cheating hand, you only get one chance to draw against the highwayman. Hey, baby, we've been waiting for you. What did that mean? That you were waiting for me. We knew you were coming home from that expensive college, Mandy. How do you know my name? <laughs> Girl, uh, Daddy and us, we were partners once. The fact is, we all started out in the war together. We were heroes back in them days, girl. The blue bullets. You were with the bullets. Not with the bullets. We were the bullets. All four of us and Bo Zyker, your daddy girl made six. I don't believe you. If you were war buddies with my father, you wouldn't be doing this. We aren't war buddies anymore. He chewed us up and spit us out. And now it's time to get even. What does that mean? Well, you might have guessed from that college education he owes, girl. We are a little bit on the desperate side. Take it easy. Shut up! We're not going to get our point across by pinning a note on her white, fancy blouse! We didn't talk about this. We came this far, bro. We are going all the way. You going to stop me? Anybody else? You're out of your mind. Yeah, you we're out of our mind. We just cheated on your ball. Let's go with the flow, Mandy. So this is what war heroes do when they come home? You boys fight men or just women? If you go for it, you get one chance with me. Now 
that's what I thought. Now, which one of you is Bozak? He ain't with us today. Lucky for Bo. Who are you? You just tell him the highwayman's looking for him. And he's supposed to know what that means? Well, he will when I find him. Time to go now, miss. I, I don't know how to thank you. By going now. about our machine. Well, I look for a good body shop. They begin or end on some stretch of road where laws often terminate at county lines. Combating these legal blackouts is a new breed of lawmen. Working in secret, they are known simply as highwaymen. This is the story and the legend of one such man, the highwayman. Again, good buddies, and this is Dawn of the Dawn Patrol, breaking your way in the mighty 690, New Orleans. Your clear channel, 50,000 watts, home away from home. Here's one for a lonely gear jammer tearing up the slab down around the Gulf. Calls himself the Highwayman. I want to be hearing from you, fella. Now, let's all be hearing. It's hip to be square. Well, if it isn't the nightmare of the Elm Street interstate. <laughs> Is that how you see me? I can't see you at all. Tell me, Highway, what are you wearing? Is this an obscene call? Well, you see, I just read your eyewitness reports from your latest assignment. I just find it difficult to believe that anybody actually goes to work in leathers, chains, and a sidearm the size of a bazooka. Look, lady, I'm out here driving an industrial Brinks truck, and you don't scare anything off wearing a nightstick and an inexpensive twill. Wait a minute. Now, do I seem like the type of lady that's into cheap twills? Well, someday, I guess we're going to find out just what it is you are into. Well, until then, I'd be satisfied with a little more communication. Mr. Toto has been trying to make contact with you all over Southern Texas. Yeah, well, I've already got enough of Toto's high-voltage tricks to light up Cincinnati. I wait just this once. Can we work together? Well, I'm still looking for Bo Zyker. There's a place down the slab called the Gear Jammers. I hear he's apt to turn up there. Well, good. Mr. Toto will meet you there. Not if I see him first. Highway, I'm ordering you to pull in for modifications. Do you read me? Dawn, honey, there are some guys who just don't like the idea of being modified. Nice talking to you. And good music. Scaring America's daughter. Uh-huh. 
Till this highwayman comes along and puts a scare into you. Yeah? What about that, huh, Bo? He asked about you. How does he know you? I have no idea what he wants or who he is. But from the way Amanda Merrick is telling it, I'd a damn sight rather have one of him on my side than a whole pack of you. And what do you care about Merrick's daughter anyway, huh, Bo? After what he done to us, look at us! I was up at the state capitol trying to undo this. I'm trying to get our driver's tickets reinstated legal. And with what luck, brother? Well, I was making some progress till word got out of what you guys did. Sure you are. Right. All right, so I wasn't doing so hot. But at least I wasn't trying to do something that'll wind us all up in jail. What's the difference, Bo? This is a jail. Not one of us can get a decent job. We're sucking bottom. You know, ain't no way up. Get that dog out of here. Okay. I guess I gotta throw in with you. There is no legal way for us to get back at Merrick. But if I tell you how we're gonna bring him down, I do the same for the five of us. Or do I? You got something to say, Bo. Just you go ahead and say it. Ed Merrick owns Gallico. City, county, the whole shebang. So why doesn't he have one dollar on deposit at the Gallico Bank? What makes you think he don't? Well, this lady I've been seeing named Angela Brown. She turns out to be a teller at the bank. She tells me everything. She says he has no cash accounts, but get this. He has ten safety deposit boxes. Expose in them. That's what we're gonna find out when we rob the bank. You are talking far! You're never gonna know what hit him. The whole secret to nobody getting hurt is to hit the bank and be in and out in exactly two minutes. That's how long it'll take the sheriff to respond to the silent alarm. So we... Is that Trav? How long you been standing there, Sam? I just woke up. I heard you guys talking. What's going on? Well, it ain't nothing. Blue bullets can't handle. You go on back to bed, Trav. I'll tell you all about it later. You sure, only if you... Go on, now. Okay. See you down the line, bros. Yeah, you take care, bro. <laughs> Just glad he hurts, bro. Well, I've written out some arrangements. I figure that lady I told you about at the bank, she'll be able to carry him out. But don't come back. for you, Trav? Only, well... Yeah? Only you might hear something about it later. And you might not hear it right. But you'll give it to me straight, won't you, Dad? Sure, Trav, if I'm able to. But whatever way you hear it, I want you to remember what I'm gonna tell you right now. What I'm doing might be wrong. But I'm doing it for the right reason. So you need to know, Trav. Okay. Are you going back to sleep now? You got it.
the floor, now! Opens up the safety deposit box. Uh, that one. But you need two keys. That one and, um. Gallico Sheriff's Department. One second. We are going to stick to our plan. You move out. You wait for the sheriff cars to come. You make sure they follow you. Big mistake coming back to Gallico. Save it for the trial, Wyatt. Ain't gonna be no trial, Bo. I'm gonna blow your head off right here now, you understand? Ned Merrick can never see what he had in those safety deposit boxes again, will he? I buried millions of dollars, and you'll never find it if you shoot me. You gonna take that chance, Mr. Big Shot? exactly which boxes to hit. Well, he's going to tell us that, sir. He's going to tell us everything we need to know. Yeah. Did he tell you anything yet? No, sir, but... Like where my money is? No, but I have every confidence that he... Don't. He's questioned by the Kong once. Three days. Hanging upside down. He never told. Well, sir, I'll hang him inside out if I have to. He's the one who had the money when he left the bank. I got witnesses to that. And he's the one who knows where he put it. Suppose he passed it to one of the others before you finally got your acting gear and brought him down. Sir, I know Bo. He wouldn't trust anybody else with it. No, sir, he's got it stashed out there. 
And he's gonna tell us where it is. Or I ain't sheriff. If he doesn't, you ain't. song. Keep playing. Look, mister, I don't want any trouble. Anything you want, it's on the house. Good. You remember me. Remember? You came in here about nine months ago looking for a man that didn't want to be found. You and he had words, and then you mopped up this place with that fella, and you never did say why. Yeah, I never do. I just trust you don't cater to that sort anymore. I can personally vouch for every man and woman in this place. I'm telling you, they're all church-going, country-loving, law-abiding citizens, every one of them. Now, that's why you're that's in That's not why I'm here. Tonight, I'm looking for two other men. Two? Yeah, one I'm trying to find, the other I'm trying to avoid, both at all costs, if you get my drift. Well, who are these two men? One fella goes by the name of Zyker, Bo Zyker. You know him? You know him? Well, he left something with me, but if he don't come pick it up pretty soon, he's gonna eat right through my kitchen. He said him. Trav, over there, Trav Zyker. Comes in here every day after school, waiting for his pappy to come by and pick him up. But today, his pappy didn't show up. You said he was looking for two men, other than wouldn't have to be one of them road hogs. About the same size as that boy over there, answers to the name of Toto. What kind of name is that? Japanese. Oh. Oh! Well, if that's the one you're trying to avoid, why, he's back in the hot tub room. On top of all that high technology, my partner and I are into some really dangerous stuff. Oh, well, I wish I could tell you more, but it's very hush hush. Well, we really have to go. Oh, wait. He'll be here any minute. Hey, if you think I'm something, wait till you see him. Awesome. arrested by Gallico police for a daring bank robbery in broad daylight. The bank reports that most of the missing $100,000 represent the life savings of local farmers and merchants who have already been hard hit by a general recession in the area. Zyker is being held under tight security for his own protection as emotions in Gallico run high. Nobody gets in or out of Gallico County until we find out where the money is hid. Judging by Sheriff Sam Wyatt's expression, he means it. Oh, Trav, buddy, I think I have a little word with you. I gotta go. <laughs> ah! 
highwayman. for bravery. I guess I gotta trust somebody. Hop on in. Highwayman! Highwayman! Wow. This looks like something from Close Encounters. bank robber. Must be some kind of mistake. It's just like the last time. When they said he hijacked his own payload, they threw him out of the company, along with all my uncles. Your uncles? Geronimo, Uncle Iron Butt, Chrome Dome, and Preacher. The greatest guys in the world. And they was all blue bullets, too. Yeah, well, you know, Trav, they were also kicked out of the Gallico Truck and Transfer Company. When they all of them lost their licenses. How do you know so much about them? Well, I have a pretty special source. Speaking of which... It's dawn again in the middle of the night, riding right alongside of you to the morning light. And here's a message from that certain lady to that special fella down Texas way. It says, call your mama, baby. She's lonely tonight. And this one's for you. Well, here's looking at you, kid. Highway, are you trying to buck me off? Uh, I think I have a bad signal here. Bucking as in bucking wrong. Wild, undisciplined, maverick-like creature from the West. I think there's a slight edge to your voice there. Uh, is there something wrong, honey? Yes, there's something wrong. When you've got time for saloon queens, but not Toto, you're messing with me, Highwayman. And nobody messes with me. All right, honey, I'm sorry. I just thought this Bo Zyker thing was a little more pressing than Toto. Bo Zyker is no longer your problem. And why not? Because he robbed a bank this morning, proving he's exactly the type of man the Merrick Trucking Company said he was. As well, long as I'm down here, I might as well hear his side of the story. They're not letting anyone near him. The bank wasn't federally insured, so the whole town's about as close to a lynch mob as one can get. You know, it's all the more reason to get down there and restore order. Highway, you're transmitting when you should be receiving. May I repeat myself? The case is closed. You're shut down. Ignition off. Understood? Understood. Look, Highway, I don't mean to cut you off at the... Highway out. Is she your boss? Yeah, I don't put it that way. Sounds like you have to jump when she says so. I don't see it that way. Well, look, you can help my dad or what? Figured you'd play it that way. Rolls Royces, Ferraris, Porsches, Mercedes. They're all so beautiful. And so hot. But where they're going, nobody cares where they came from. There'll be two more trucks in tonight, Mr. Merrick, from New York, and four from California. So you'll have your 200 for the ship of. Good. Because when that freighter's in place Friday morning, he won't wait for strikers. But we gotta move these beauties out fast. They'll be on their way to the Persian Gulf, sir, faster than your customers can count. Yeah, but not higher. Sure. These cars are beautiful, but stolen. Nothing can go wrong here. I understand that. A lot's been going wrong in Gallico the last few days. Sir, if you're talking about your money, nobody but you and me know it's missing. Just me knowing about it is bad enough. But it's more important that we keep it a secret from the people. Now, as far as they know, the thieves got away with about $50,000, but no one knows what was in your safety deposit boxes. 
Psyker knows. Well, he's not gonna tell anybody but us. But if he did... That's no problem. Shot while trying to escape, as the old joke has it. Nothing but old shipping containers out here. It's called Container City. It's for the homeless. Might mention it to your boss. Trap about your daddy. Oh, yeah. He did say one thing before he left. He said he might have to do something wrong, but he was going to do it for the right reasons. My dad doesn't lie. Hey, hey but look, I want to help, but they got your daddy locked away in jail. Nobody can get to him. You, you just listen to me. But, Place. Did you hear what happened today? The lies they're telling about my dad. I heard. Look, I'm a friend of your father's. He asked me to look after you if anything happened to him. Well, how does he know you? I work at the bank. Who are you? Yeah, I'm someone who might have been able to help if uh, Bo hadn't robbed that bank. He didn't rob the bank. At least, not the way they're saying. I told you. Were you explaining to me what happened to the money if Bo didn't take it? Even if I did know, I wouldn't tell you. It's the only thing that's keeping him alive. Once he leads them to that money, they're gonna kill him. You make the law in that town sound awful bad. There is no law in Gallico. Only Merrick's private police. It's the Roadhogs. I don't think this is the time to be talking things out with his uncles. I get trapped. Oh, man. Last thing we need right now is that boy back in Gallico County where the sheriff can use him to get information out of Bo. Now, he'll be a lot safer right here. I want you to go home and not say a word to anybody until you hear from me. I don't even know who you are or why you're getting mixed up in all this. I should go to some outside police department. You already have. You gotta come quick. Not now, Chad. First, I gotta tell you something. Ain't good. Ladies, later. It's about your father, Tramp. I'm afraid he's in a lot of trouble. Hey, surprise. Oh, no. Oh, yes. All modifications are complete on the other end. The system is ready for testing. Wait till you see it. I, I don't want to see it. Well, that's very good, because you won't. How's that again? It now works. Stealth is fully operational. You will be the first not to see it. Uh, here we go again. Last time we tried that stealth thing, the, the dashboard melted on me. Works much better now. And I found this guy who can help us, and he's got this rad truck. Come on. <laughs> OK, Highway, let me refresh your memory. Uh, I don't want to remember last time. My teeth still glow in the dark. First, you check in, like this. Highwayman 1 to Master Key, arming full stealth. Please authorize. Sir, I have a request on Alpha Channel for full stealth. It's a Justice Department code. Southern Texas. Highwayman 1. Permission granted. Master Key to Highwayman 1. Full stealth authorized. Hey, boy, did you say Highwayman? Yeah, and if we hurry, we can still catch him. Let's go on the bike roll right now. Hurry up. Let's check this out, preacher man. We received permission instantly. You are very high on the stealth test list. I thought I was the only one on the stealth test list. That too. Roger. Quickly now, attach ground line to boot. Why do we have to do all this? To keep us from vaporizing. All set? Control, going to stealth. Like this, 
sucked good like a crisp and tree. I don't suppose you can explain it. Very simple. There is no such thing as a solid object. See, all things are composed of lattice-like atoms and molecules. And when we see an object, we do not see the object. We see light waves reflected off the object caused by irregular surfaces. We have simply created a high-frequency electromagnetic field, which excites the atoms of the object so intensely that it allows light waves to pass directly through the truck, as if it were air. So you don't see it. You see? <sighs> OK. Uh, on to our mission. Ninja One. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Where do we go first? We aren't going anywhere. I am going to jail. To jail? To jail. Oh. <clears throat> well, the stealth thing's real complicated. Uh, got a million forms to fill out. Good luck, highwayman. I'll catch up with you in the next mission with lots of radical new things. One to Master Key, deactivating stealth. Highway, thank God you checked in. I just heard from Toto. What is this about jail? Look, if you're in trouble, I'll send in the damn Marines. Well, thank you, sweetheart, but I don't need the Marines. I'm just going into Gallico to pay someone a visit. You're going to try to get to Bo's Iker. Look, you cannot do it. They told us to stay out of there. Well, that's why I have to go in. There's something wrong down there. Highway, please don't do this. You know all the complaints we've had about the law in that county. I mean, they just as soon throw you in jail as look at you. Well, that's the whole idea, honey. You keep in touch, Highway, over and out. Fancy handle, fella. Fancy rig, too. I suppose you climb on down out of there and show us what's inside. Sorry. I got a bonded load, sealed straight through. I guess you didn't understand. I said open up your rig. Well, I guess you didn't understand what that ticket means. It means I'll be going now. And this means you'll be climbing down. Now. You're making a mistake. This magnum will blow a hole through three-inch steel. And you want to talk about a mistake? What planet did you fall off of? What's that big thing strapped to his leg, Stebbin? Get the hands, mister. Slow. Look, that ticket I showed your partner is federal. Now it guarantees me unobstructed passage through this state. Open up that truck, doggy. I want to see what this outlaw's hiding. 
Don't you think we ought to call this into the sheriff for backup? Man's making a good case for caution. Shut up. Get down. Now turn around. Up against the truck, Spread Eagle. Open up that truck, Duggan. I'll see if this outlaw's hauling. Door's locked up tight in a bank vault. Shoot it open. Well, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Unless you got a soft spot in your heart for radiation. Radiation? Nah, if it was radioactive, there'd be signs all over it. Never mind, I'll do it. Look, I'm hauling radical new technology the government does not want advertised. And what he's saying does make sense. I mean, let's call this into the sheriff. Why take the chance? What chance? Somebody's got to be able to open this thing. Yeah, but they use special equipment and they wear special suits. He says they wear a special suit. Put your hands up and get over here. You'll never get through Gallagher County alive. How far do you think you'll get? We got wheels, we got radios. You know, I've been thinking about that. I guess you'll just have to take up the damages with my company. What damages? These. No wheels, no radios. You boys have a nice walk home. So the sheriff's got himself a new punching bag? Don't be jealous, Bo. You're still his favorite. So what did you do to take a beating like that? Get in here! 
Who are you? I'm surprised they didn't tell you. I'm the most famous desperado in town. Next to you, Bo. I know all about that. How you broke through the sheriff's roadblock. I know what they call you. Highway man. What I meant was, who are you really? Could be someone to talk to. Or someone to talk to the sheriff. He's too cantankerous. I'll admit you got me puzzled. Two days ago, you tangled with my buddies. You trashed the wheels. So what's the puzzle? Last night, you wiped out two sheriff's cars. You told my buddies you were looking for me. And here you are. Now, you really didn't think I did all that just to get to you. If you did, you're crazy. You don't think either one of us is ever getting out of here alive, do you? you see, I know too much. Well, I don't. Well, you would if I told you. Oh, I see. You mean they don't care if you tell me because... Neither one of us is ever getting out of here alive. That's just some kind of law, man. Oh, don't say it like it's a dirty word. You know, Bo, you have been trying to get some kind of law on your side for two years. You know about that? You didn't think anybody was listening, did you? So you robbed the bank. <sighs> Not because of that. I know. You did a wrong thing for a right reason. You've talked to Trav? Lucky for you, the agency I work for assigned me to check into your case. They pulled me off it yesterday. What agency? But it doesn't matter. Your case is closed with them. You closed it when you robbed that bank. I opened it again on my own after I talked with Trav. Damned if I don't believe you. Look, I don't know if this is such a good idea. Even if it ain't radioactive. That's a bunch of bullwash. And what danger could there be opening this tin can up? Somebody's got to do it. I'm sure whatever's inside is well protected. Personally, I think it's the money in the box they used to rob the bank. Well, what if they got some other kind of special security system on the truck? They wouldn't have a thing that I hadn't heard of. This here is a brand new special locksmith used by car thieves. I got it from a deputy in King County, and it can bypass any lockout device yet devised by man. All you gotta do is insert this metal point into the lock like this. And uh... You know, Ed Merrick, me and four buddies of mine started a trucking line after the war. Yeah, I got that. Well, it went bad, slow. So we didn't know what was going on at first. Then we found out that Ed was using trucks for illegal traffic and we wouldn't go along. So he squeezed us out. He got us busted for hijacking our own payloads. That was a frame. So you had a score to settle with Mary. But he doesn't own that bank. He owns everything in Gallico. I was trying to prove that was his money in there. Well, that's a good place to keep it. $14 million in cash, stashed away in safety deposit boxes where it doesn't draw interest. Are you sure about that? Am I sure? You think the sheriff got his deputies working overtime, blocking every road in and out of Gallico because that came up empty? How do you know about those safe deposit boxes? Angela. OK, so you're saying it's dirty money, illegal profits he can't declare. 14 million? No way. He could have hijacked every payload his company could carry and not ever come up with that kind of money. Right. He's into other stuff now. Bigger deals. I'm not sure what, but I do know where. Go on. Well, there's an old military base on the other side of the mountain. It's where they used to keep all the Nikes underground. It's all concrete and steel. Well, Ed owns the property now. You can't get within a mile of the place. A military base? What could he be dealing with that, that needs that kind of room to keep it in? What about this pipe? And how could you put him in the cell next to Bo? Well, sir, until we get money for a new one, that's all the jail we got. I mean, I had to put him in some kind of cage. He's a wild man. He's a wild man with connections. What about this federal license he was flashing? Well, I have to admit, uh, that looks legit. He's got the authority to do just about what he pleases. Drives a sealed rig, carries special security loads, money for the U.S. Mint, uranium, stuff like that. Do you hear what you're telling me, Sheriff? 
What I'm saying is I have checked that man out right down the line, and that federal license is the real thing. And that federal licensee just happens to wind up in jail with Bo Zyker, and no other federal agent can get in to see him. Sam! Mr. Merrick, nobody, and believe me, nobody in their right mind gets themselves thrown in my jail on purpose. But if he did, then it's real smart to keep them together. Or we can kill two birds with one stone. It doesn't really make a difference what we say between us. So <sighs> blocks the end of the line. Terminal City, Deep Six. Don't feel like you gotta cheer me up, Bo. We're never gonna see another human face. I mean, we'll see the sheriff, we'll see the deputies, but nothing human. Not till they take us out in bags. I'm not gonna see a, a smile, hear a kind word, <laughs> soft. Soft. Mrs. Merrick, give me back my keys. You can't go in there. It's all right. My father will take it up with the sheriff. And the sheriff will take it up with me. Please, Miss Merrick. Well, hello again. He said you broke through a roadblock. They didn't say you did it with your face. We'll take him to the clinic. Come on, Stevens, move. <laughs> Okay, Stebbins, that's fine. Now you can wait in the hall. No, Stebbins. Healing up Scar seems to be a habit with you. Whenever possible. I'm in pain mad back east. Let me tell you something, young lady. Your daddy's not going to like this, and neither is that sheriff out there. Yeah, well, I can live with that. I don't like them much either. By the way, Ed Merrick is not my real father. He's just my mother's second husband. Well, that only means he'll like it less. Why are you doing this, man? You have to ask? I mean, after what you did for me? Most people in this town think you're tied up somehow with Bo Zyker and those men who robbed the bank. But if my father's right about who they were, I know you're not with them. And I promise I'm gonna get you out, no matter what it takes. Lawyers, money. How about a phone call? The uh, trucking company this highwayman is working for, they found out we were holding them. Now they're threatening to send in federal marshals. And we just can't have that, can we, sir? Well, we can't turn him loose. It's obvious he was sent here to contact Zyker. By this time, he undoubtedly knows about my money and where Bo hid it. Well, then you think he'll go for the money? I'm sure of it. And it's more than money now. It's evidence against me. Yeah. All right. Let him go. But follow him. And don't do anything conclusive till he leads you to it. Well, uh, sir, what if he tries to skip the county first? Have an accident. A nuclear bomb he drives shouldn't leave much more than a big hole in the ground. Okay, highwayman, on your feet. The sheriff wants a little visit. Well, I still hurt from my last visit. You got any good buys for your crooked partner there? You better see him. He won't be coming back this time. All right, Bo, this is it. You got one last chance to get out of this thing in life. How's that? You gotta tell me what you did with the money. What, so you can use it to buy your way out of here? If you believe that, I'm out of here right now. All right, wait. Look, this special gun of the Highwaymen's is more powerful than anything I've ever seen. Always dreamed of owning a handgun like that. Hey, that's confiscated property. Where are you going with it? To the target range. Why? Don't we have an obligation to see if the slug matches up ballistic-wise with one used in some other crime? Is that a thing we really got to know? Well, I got some real good news for you. You're free to go. 
Well, that's real neighborly, you Sheriff. Being neighborly has got nothing to do with it. It seems the uh, company you work for has got a lot of clout with the U.S. government. I was wondering how that is. Well, uh, hauling loads of money around for the U.S. Mint and hauling uranium and nerve gases. Things like that sort of build a bond between us. Is that the only bond you got with Uncle Sam? Well, what else you have in mind, Sheriff? I'd have treated you differently if I was sure you hadn't had anything to do with that bank robbery. You see, we're a poor town, and we need the money back. Now, I don't suppose Mr. Zyker said anything about where he might have stashed it. Well, if I knew where the money was, it'd be my duty to tell you, wouldn't it? Don't you think we ought to get the sheriff's OK on this? Well, I guess I do have to level with you about one thing. Zyker did tell me something. He told me that you and a guy named Merrick are both mixed up in some kind of illegal trucking. If I had the slightest idea what you were talking about, may God strike me down where I stand. <laughs> You shouldn't mess with God, Sheriff. All right, get out. And don't you dare let him out of your sight. I just hope he tries to run for it. Then you'll see what this baby can do. Highwayman 1 to Master Key, arming full stealth. Please authorize. Come on back. Yeah, well, he's gone. Stebbins, this is Brickery. He's coming your way. Headed for the county line? Looks like. Let him come. You hear something? Nope. Well, I feel something. Like an earthquake. You feel it? No, I can't. What is it? What do you mean you lost it? You don't lose a 12-ton truck! Wear your hat. Ten dollar fine for not wearing them. Well, evening, Sheriff. Unexpected visit, isn't it? Yeah, well, we got ourselves kind of an emergency. Clear us down. Go ahead, I'll phone it in. I appreciate it. Yeah, the sheriff's coming down. We got an emergency.
get away. Well, it's only temporary, sir. I mean, he never got out of the county. My boys were at every road to see him. He finds that money. I'm gonna be on that boat tomorrow with these cars. And you can stay and explain it to the feds. Mr. Merrick. Selling these cars in the Near East is good business. But if you think I wanna end up living there, you're crazy. So I figured he never intended to split that money with us. See, he used us to decoy the sheriff's men till he got clean away. If that's the truth, I'll kill him. It's a lie. Him again. If you're looking for Bo Zyka again this time, Bo sent me here. I'll send you back in little boxes. Here we go again. Now, wouldn't you rather get Bo out of jail and put Ed Merrick there instead? He's talking like some kind of a cop. <laughs> you don't look like no cop to me. Yeah, well, maybe that's the idea. Nice to know if we don't want to talk, we could always kill each other. You told me before I'd get one chance with you, and I didn't take it. That offer's still good? Anytime. First, we talk. Whoa. Whoa, hear the man out. Tell it, brother. You've got one minute. Good look at yourselves. Uh, you were somebody once. The Blue Bullets. I don't know what you are now. Ed Merritt gave you a bad name, and you've been living down to it ever since. Gentlemen, I am talking about evening the score on the right side. Getting your lives back to work again. Coming back to the real world. No dice. With Bo gone, I'm the chief. What I say goes for all of them. Well, guys, I think you need a new chief. I was hoping you'd say that. You want the job? Or condition. All you gotta do is beat me in combat. <laughs> <laughs> You know, Geronimo, you're hard-headed. You're still bugged because I ran over your cute little tricycle. By combat, highwayman, I don't mean by shooting off your mouth. What kind of combat? Any kind. But the chief chooses. <laughs> of the game so there is no doubt that the fight will be fair. First, a deadly rattlesnake will be pitched inside a darkened arena. You each have a razor sharp knife and one hand tied behind your back. You will enter an arena completely sealed from light while inside the darkened chamber you will have only your senses of smell, hearing, and touch to seek out the other while avoiding the deadly snake. You can't think that's enough war elder knife starting to slip. You can't get enough. The smell is repellent to the snake. Highwayman! Trav. Buddy, I was hoping you'd sleep through this one. Don't do it, Highwayman. Don't fight him. You can't win. The boy's right. Geronimo's people have been playing this game for a thousand years. 
Not too late to chicken out, bro. I'm doing this for your daddy, Trav. Let's do it. After you. Since you're a dead man, I'm gonna give you the first move. Go for it! My way, man. How can I be a new chief? Any challenges? My way, man. Let me out of here. My way, man. You win, Chief. It's too stupid to get the job. <laughs> All right, Geronimo, you come out of there. Game's over. a trucker, even a uh, high-balling security trucker, go about getting a federal warrant. You know, I knew there was more to your dog and pony act than met the eye. Oh, so that's what you were trying to beat out of me. You should have taken me into your confidence. I'd have worked hand in glove with you. <laughs> Zachary, let's go, boy. Front and center. I'm releasing you into this man's custody. Really? Well, don't thank me yet, son. This man's got a federal warrant. He is taking you straight to a federal penitentiary. But that's the way it is. Yep. Thanks a whole lot, pal. All right, let's go. Get the door, sir. Possible. Are you changing sides again? I made a deal with the sheriff to get you out of there. I promised him you'd take me to the money, then I'd turn it right over to him. I've already told you where the money is. Besides, it's not the way we're headed. Yeah, I think he plans to kill us once he gets his hands on the money. He's having us followed right now. Is that part of the deal? Of course. You don't think he'd trust the two of us out by ourselves, do you? Exactly who are you? Hey, what are you? Did you know that every crook in this country uses our roads and highways in one way or another? 
that there are lawmen out there who don't have authority beyond their own jurisdiction or don't want it. But there had to be a higher authority out here on the road. You're it? Yeah, I'm part of it. And while we're trying to prove your side of the story is the truth, so are you, Bo. All right. So where are we headed for now? Well, we want to get the sheriff and his boys a long way out of town and leave them there before we hit the bank. Hit the bank? for his games. The hell's he doing down there? Yes, sir. By now, they're wondering what we're doing down here. Yes, so am I. What are we doing? Uh, you didn't sir, you didn't may I suggest we shut down the motors in this heat? Well, you must be crazy from it. You think I'm going to do without my air conditioner? Besides, all the goings on down there is giving us time to surround the area. No highway. You can't keep going at this pace. You burn yourself out. Let me remind you, Bo, buddy, I didn't rob the bank. I don't think a little physical labor in return for getting you out of jail is too much to expect. Now, is it? No. <laughs> but why? Have some electoral lights. Some what? It'll keep the heat from getting through to you, like it's doing to our buddies up there. My motor's dead. Well, that's it, sir. That leaves us down to one good car. Well, then shut it down, Mr. Doggett. I'll be getting that money soon. Well, I guess they sweated long enough. <sighs> yeah. Hey, let's get these bags out of here I buried this morning. Come on. You know, I don't think I like you very much. Oh, I'll grow on you, Bo, if we pull this one off. <laughs> What'd I tell you? They got the stuff. Four bags for them. Howie, what's in these bags? Oh, steer manure. I sure would like to run my thing through. Well, Just one time. Well, first, we got to get our hands on it, Mr. Doggett. Now, mount up. Alert all units. This is the sheriff. He is moving out. And this time, we burn him right. <gasps> Been a change of plan. We gotta get him back to Gallico. The sheriff knows about it. We'll go ahead and check with him. Oh, no problem. I'll take your word. Look, I wish you'd call him anyway. Just tell him I'll meet him at the bank. He'll understand. Will do. There is a problem in that direction, though. A slide on the main highway leading into town. Any way around it? Just follow this road. It winds around for a few miles, but it joins up with the main highway well beyond the trouble. Thanks a lot, Deputy. Glad to be of service.
Pedro. was waiting for him up ahead. I can't wait to see his face. I know now how Custer felt. We gotta go back. Come on, just turn this thing around. Turn it around. Turn the wheel. You gotta go around. Yeah, you turn it. What are you doing? Are you crazy? in a corkscrew. Highwayman, you hear me? I heard about your trick. Now you can't go forward, and you can't go back. What's it gonna be, boy? Better hold on, bro. Highway, what's the racket? Oh, think of it as an angel choir. It's making us a welcome. think he's going now. Well, one thing for sure, we ain't never gonna recover that money. It wasn't your fault, sir. How could you figure on that? I'm sure Mr. America will understand.
Why is everyone on the floor? Got to see nothing, man. They just are all lying down as soon as we walked in, honest. It's OK, folks. You get up now. We're just here to balance the books. Right. Armed restitution. We could be making history. Mr. Blench. We're going to need your key to your safety deposit boxes. But nothing was taken from there. It's in here. All these boxes here belong to Ed Merrick. They were all filled with cash. Where is it now? Well, when I saw it was in over my head, and I couldn't get it out before the sheriff got here, I decided to hide it. What I figured would be the last place they'd look. Right here. All these boxes had keys in them. I just opened up the first one I came to. This is the bank's money. That's every cent we took over the counter. The bags I walked out with, they were stuffed with newspaper. These boxes right here, that's where I put Ed Merritt's money. They're all like that. Good work, Bob. This is the proof we needed that Merrick was stealing cars, and there's no way he can prove this money's legitimate. We got him. Sir, you'll find all the money borrowed from your depositors in these bags. Borrowed? Well, yeah, never left the bank. So, in fact, you were never robbed. But it's still stolen money. Well, in that case, you might want to reward these men for recovering it. Reward them? Where are they going with those boxes? Uh, that's a personal matter. But those boxes will be returned. Of course, the uh, reward is entirely up to you. Everybody, thank you very much for your patience. Have a pleasant afternoon. You're finished, Cher. There's nothing left to guard. I'm on my way to the ship. <laughs> What happened to your car? Where's the highwayman? Uh, sir, there's been a small problem. He and Bo Zyka just took 10 safety deposit boxes out of that bank. Get in the car, sir. I'll take you to that ship. Not in that thing. He blows up sheriff's cars. Sir? Sir? I'll drive this one myself. No, no, sir! You're not gonna drive that rig! I started out as a trucker, Wyatt. There's not much I can't do on 18 wheels. You better start doing it. Do not see what you're trying to do. 
the wheel when he tries to make this next turn. to know that I don't have to go to full stealth to get through this part of the state. Full stealth? Yeah, old Trav explained it to you. Well, it's sort of like driving around in an x-ray machine on 18 wheels. <laughs> Highwayman 1, the master key, arming full stealth. Authorized, please. Sir, I have a request on Alpha Channel for full stealth. <laughs> You know, I'm going to be going back to medical school this fall. Do you ever get any assignments up in New England? Oh, I might be able to rustle one up. Oh, my. Highway? There's something happening here. <sighs> well, how do we get him back? Well, there is an answer to that question. Trav, buddy, you all right? The finer things keep shining through The way my soul gets lost in you The finer things I feel in me Sounds of Dawn coming your way on the mighty 690. Clear channel from New Orleans. The finer things keep shining through Now you were saying, Highway? I was saying, honey, I want you to get that little nukeaholic back out here, strip out all these fancy gadgets. Are you actually willing to agree to a rendezvous with Toto? Why well, you make it sound like a romantic interlude? I just want a man with a wrench and some wire snippers. So you can completely disappear into that frontier of yours. No rules, no contact. Yeah, I never said I wanted to avoid contact. You sure don't go out of your way and try and make it. Well, being the refined city girl that you are, Dawn, honey, your idea of two people making contact seems to be a few hundred miles off from mine. Yeah, and you in a truck that's faster than a speeding bullet. Give the orders. Wait a minute, did I hear right? The highwayman waiting for orders? This is the dawn of a new day, with more music coming your way. And here's one for a lonely and confused gear jammer tearing at the slab. NBC is proud to present The Johnny Carson Story, a magical time capsule tracing Johnny's life from boyhood through his 25th year as the King of Late Night. Tomorrow. I'm Jane Pauley. This week on Today, a special interview with Tip O'Neill, also Albert Finney, Kirstie Alley, and Lisa Bonet, and we're off to China this week on Today. Now stay tuned for the news on most of these NBC stations.